Geographic Information System, or GIS, is an analytic tool that allows us to store and visualize data in new ways and to evaluate spatial associations between even disparate data types. It has been suggested that the transformative power of GIS makes it much more than just a mapping program or analytic platform. Rather, it is a new approach to scientific research and applied problem solving called GI science. While this tool was originally developed for land use planning and natural resource management, there are wide-reaching applications in the social sciences. Maps can also be important teaching tools to convey spatial reasoning and spatial literacy. For example, here we see a series of maps drawn from a longer time series at 10-year intervals that shows the population distribution over time in the United States. The darker shades of blue represent higher population densities. We can see the pattern of westward migration as well as the influence of the California gold rush in settling the west. In addition to viewing historic population trends, population distribution data can be used in a wide range of applications such as studies of migration pathways, diffusion of innovations, and business location. Or, when viewed at a finer scale as in this dot density map of Los Angeles and the surrounding area, population distribution data can be used for social and environmental justice studies. GIS can help answer questions that at first seem extremely difficult or impossible to answer. GIS can be used to map culturally shared beliefs or political views. Californians commonly divide the state into Northern California and Southern California, with cultural traits attributed to each region. It seems that no two people can completely agree on the dividing line between the two regions. However, if you ask enough people living across the state to categorize where they live on a sliding scale from very northern California to very southern California and analyze the data in a GIS platform, then a consensus answer emerges. Areas north of Monterey can be considered northern California and areas south of Monterey can, can be considered southern California with a wedge-shaped area in the central portion of the state some call central California. There is no dividing line between the regions. Rather, they have vague or diffuse boundaries. GIS can also be used to better understand how we interact across space. From a biophysical perspective, the Southern California coastal zone can be mapped using watersheds or the landward extent of coastal fog. This map of commuter flows indicates that people living near the coast ignore such boundaries as they routinely commute to and from more inland areas such as Lancaster and Palmdale, San Bernardino, and Palm Springs. The implication is that the economic influence of port cities such as Port Wyneme, Los Angeles, Long Beach, and San Diego may expand what we would otherwise think of as the Southern California coastal zone. GIS can be used to predict settlement locations to guide archaeological surveys. Shown here is a GIS model of settlement patterns of the late classic Maya civilization using soil fertility, drainage, percent slope, elevation, and distance to lakes and streams as inputs. The model was validated by adding unsurveyed sites with a global positioning system, or GPS, along belt transects. The model performed remarkably well and explained 75% of the settlement locations. In this case, a student used a similar process using elevation, topography, hydrology, vegetation, and the location of previously known archaeological sites to create a predictive map of Chumash settlements on Santa Cruz Island, California.